Uh, hey, you, Mrs. Too Good. I know what your fuck your name is. I'm drawn to you. Something's magnetic here. Have you ever heard of video games? Basically, they're kind of like movies, except you can play characters on screen, and you just stay on the same channel. You sign called a controller. You press buttons, including what's called a cursor with arrow directional buttons on it. You can play as fictional characters that don't exist in real life, such as Crash Bandicoot, a fictional animal called a bandicoot that doesn't exist in the real world. Or you could play as an Italian-American plumber named Super Mario. But you may or may not know that Super Mario actually has an evil cousin, Wario, who steals a lot of money for himself and wanted a castle bigger than Mario's because he stole Mario's castle and Mario came and whooped his ass and turned him into a midget and threw him out of his castle. He threw his shoe at Mario, so I guess that makes up for it. Really, really weird really weird game. I mean, there's a giant statue of Mario suggesting that he is a dictator of his home country, Mario Land, after he left Italy and renounced his Italian citizenship. There's a uh, giant moon in the sky that you could walk around on with coins just laying about. Not sure why you need currency on the moon, but whatever. I mean, also the giant pumpkin. Pumpkin head. Jack pumpkin head. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so basically there's this video game called Sonic Adventure 2. It stars a famous movie icon named Sonic the Hedgehog, who has also been turned into a video game, perhaps subsequently after the movie film's success. One of the games is called Sonic Adventure 2, a critically acclaimed video game for the 32-bit Sega Genesis. I myself had a copy when I was younger, and I popped the CD in, and I started to play the game. Mom was at work, and Dad was quote-unquote at work, which meant he was uh, at a burlesque house cheating on Mom. But that's beside the point. The, the level started as normal. I played as Sonic, the blue hedgehog who could run really, really fast for unknown reasons. Have you ever played Sonic Does Chronic? It's a game where Sonic goes slowly because he did Chronic, the drug, the narcotic. So as I was running through the levels, enjoying the luscious green deciduous trees, scenery, something started to stand out. Suddenly, my small intestines started to shrivel. I figured I needed to go to the bathroom, so I went to the bathroom, and after I was done going to the bathroom, my stall intestine tended to stall intestine. What I mean by that is it stopped stalling and it shriveled up again. I called my doctor and he said because we live in America, it would be about seven months before I could see him. Um, well, that was kind of a problem, as you may have guessed, so I went to the kitchen and got myself a delicious can of Mountain Dew brand root beer. It's a special brand of Mountain Dew uh, made with A&W root beer cream soda. Look it up. And I went down and I started drinking my Shasta when suddenly I realized Sonic was no longer on the screen. It was Wario. I am going to shrivel your large intestine, Wario said. If you don't know what Wario is, it's what I said it was earlier. Anyway, I, I started yelling really, really loudly until I couldn't yell anymore because I had lost my voice and my vocal cords were all coarse. The good news is that my small intestines stopped shriveling up. I help you. I put the garlic down your throat. What? I didn't eat any garlic. Oh, shit. I just realized my breath now smelled like garlic. Suddenly, it all made sense. Super Wario had been helping me the whole time. Well, thank you, Super Wario, I said. You're not such a bad guy after all. Yes. Now help for me, because I helped you. I'm Wario. <clears throat> I'm about to win. Okay. So I did just that. I went through the level, played as Super Wario. He's really fat, so he can't jump very far. He also can't curl up into a ball and roll around. That'd be, it'd be pretty funny if he could curl up like a roly-poly and just run around the level. Like a, a Goron from The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Hmm? Catch the reference if you ever play that game well as it turns out both of these games were actually related hence why i just referenced it as it turns out in the legend of zelda ocarina of time for the super nintendo 64 entertainment system there are two alternate timelines one where the main hero uh, a dwarf named link saves the day and gets to go back home and another timeline in which he's killed by the evil pig lord ganon what i found out was that this game Sonic Wario Adventure 2 was what happens if Link, the, the dwarf man, loses and doesn't go home to presumably his cave with six other dwarfs where 
some very strange things go on involving a, a woman in a cabin in the middle of the woods. Let's not talk about that right now. So I continued playing the game and I beat the game and I uh, realized that I uh, came to like garlic a whole awful lot. In fact, when dad came home and mom came home, I, I had us uh, eat uh, some delicious Italian food because Italians always put garlic in their food. Doesn't matter if it's sausage, spaghetti or uh, pizza. It's pretty much all the food Italians eat. So I was sitting there and instead of eating my food properly, I began to snort like a pig as I ate giant cloves of garlic. Son, you need to seek professional help, my father said with the lipstick of a prostitute around his collar. Says you, you've got the lipstick of a pig on you, mom said. Well, mom and dad got into a fight and then mom took a pair of large scissors and stuck it right in dad's throat and jugular vein. Highly realistic gore flew everywhere around the kitchen as dad slowly bled to death. Actually, it was kind of fast. It was splurting all over the place, and uh, our our kitchen became redder than most of the rooms in, in Caillou, the classic children's television program where they discipline their child frequently and don't let him have his way ever. So, fact of the matter is, I began to think there was something wrong with the video game and that it was turning me into something I wasn't meant to be. Perhaps the game had supernatural powers, or more than likely it was a hacked ROM. Well, I went to a website for hacked ROMs, www.gamefaqs.com, and instead they told me that because I'm a Limp Bizkit fan, they don't want to talk to me anymore. Admittedly, I don't see why that was either here nor there, so I logged off the computer and I set my computer on fire. I'll admit that the smell of burnt plastic and whatever computers are made out of smelled pretty good, though... Not quite as good as the smell of roasted garlic. Hmm. Anyway, I went to see a therapist, and uh, you know, things started to improve. About 15 years passed. I uh, went to a uh, fundamentalist Baptist church, and I got saved, and I uh, gave away all of my uh, video games to uh, the local farmer's market where they upsold them at uh, five times the original value. So... Uh, you know, you might think the story has a happy ending, but as it turns out, I've got schizophrenia. I think I'm a morbidly obese 65-year-old man named Super Wario who has ginormous hemorrhoids and bleeds all over the floor. In fact, when I get up from a seat, sometimes there's a puddle of blood, and I don't mean mud, all over the floor from where I bled out of my asshole. I saw the doctor about it, and they gave me a prostate exam, and they told me that Basically, if you've ever seen the movie Jack, where Robin Williams plays a kid who grows up way too fast, and it's very sad. It, it, it's kind of like that, except I'm Wario instead of Jack. Anyway, it's not so bad. I, I wear yellow all the time. I'm uh, pretty well received at Libertarian Party meetings. Tried running for president. Didn't get very far because I couldn't get through the door because I'm so fat. Tried serving garlic at all of our meetings, and they told me that if they ever saw me again, that they would smack me across the face with a lead pipe. I told them they couldn't do that, because if they did that, I would become small again. So they did it, and I turned into the size of a mouse, and I ran to a hole in the wall. I tried eating cheese for a little while instead of garlic, and uh, although it gave me some muscles, it, it wasn't quite the same. I got caught in the mouse trap. That's where I am right now as I give you this horrifying story. I'm 65 years old. I'm a mouse. I'm not really sure how that's possible given that mice age differently than human beings do. They never live till 65 except for me. This kind of sucks. Anyway, if you've ever seen a copy of Sonic Adventure 2 with Super Wario in it, just set it in fire or maybe give it to your local farmer's market so they could upsell it so high that no one in their right mind would ever buy it. Anyway, I'm dreaming right now. I'm going to wake up. Bye.